that up yet. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, we'll like to call the Hartsville Trial South County Water Sewer Utility Board meeting to order uh, this evening. Thank you for joining us. Um, uh, Tommy, if you will lead us in invocation, please. Sure. Um, thank you. Going here to the interview is the sole primary business. We have a flag in the back of the room, so we'll stand and pledge, say our pledge of allegiance, please. Pledge of allegiance to the United States of America. Thank you. you. May be seated. Roll call, please. And it looks like Sir uh, Gregory is not here, and we do have we do have a quorum. The next order of business is approval of our April 2023 meeting minutes. They're in your packet. Tommy, has anything changed since you sent this out? The only thing I did is to modify the budget. If the draft budget on the 7% side of that, 5% to 2% growth, the income is on. But it all changed by 5%. But I left you the copy that I sent you in the meeting. But the minutes that you submitted to us before that are the same as we've received. Just that one line is on First and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Next order of business is our financial reports for April This is just for the month of April, so we will discuss the 23-24 uh, budget later in the general manager's report, just so everybody knows. Tommy, anything else you need to let us know on the April? Moving on the fourth, so third minute. So, I'm sorry, to approve the 20, April 2023 financial report. One, Ms. Harper, and second by Ms. Stafford. Thank you. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. All in favor, all, all approved. Next order of business is our water loss report for April 2023 by Mr. Tanya Orland. Uh, yes, it's uh -huh. Like some of the things we talked about last time, kind of go down. It's about 33 million percent down this time. Last year, the time was about 35.4. We found a pretty substantial lead on the two master measures being completed, and that's pretty good. I think that kind of contributed to the lower length of the Thank you, Will, for as long as you're in business. Yeah, it's a possibility that I would want. Anybody have any questions for the water loss report? Thank you. Our next order of business is our engineering report. Mr. Evan White is not here with us tonight. So we're going to include, we're going to um, have Mr. 
Tony McFarland to speak on behalf of Quincy. Uh, yeah, some of the things we've been working on with the TDOT project, we went through the bridge. Uh, we got on with the pit. He had to rush and do all the drawings for them and the light like a bush uh, because they require a lot of run instead of wait till your contract comes out. So he, he met that deadline and they've been kind of going back for it. It's just uh, about a package that he sent in. They've been fixing a few of them, but I think it's up to date. So that's That'll be laid out closely in August for lay out that project. We have some potential uh, lines are going to be paid for to be moved. Uh, there's some that won't be paid for. One of the bridges, I'm going to put one of the bridges set that was not designed by how large it is. We went to put in another line of the bridges, and that's part of that. So that something's coming up that they like from them. Do not any funds and just report on that. Um, talk to Mr. Barrington and then talk to Lander. And my understanding was that the projects we submitted did not get turned down. They just got delayed because they got other projects that they didn't get finished before they approved another one. And their uh, friend, Mr. Render, is all, uh, Mr. Rowley's office in the Army Corps. Representative, they're trying to work on a way to get that moved and get around that. That's the last conversation I had about a week ago with you. Because I keep kind of hounding them to find out what's going on and think that's what I found out. So we wouldn't deny it or any reason, but we just had to pull their ass to bottom down with other projects not finished. They went conquer some committee if you, they had to go answer to it, what? And that committee would not let them. Move ahead until those other products kind of got the other products. But they are working around trying to figure that out and trying to get around it a little bit. That's about all. Yeah, unless you have any other questions that you might think you can ask. Anybody have any questions? The next order of business is our general manager report. That is going to put Mr. Tiny at Farland as well. I brought you on the back so that you don't budget so that they can allow this increase. Um, with the road right, it's over the top four and sitting on the side by side. And that's the percentage at the bottom of either. That'll be your income made and it's on both of those on that rate increase for those two. Um, I also included some things that I will be bringing before the county tomorrow. It kind of drives it just by some of these are kind of the 1019 and a lot of it. Like uh, y'all know, you know about the 1019 price, so uh, at the page about a percent grant, 25% of the contribution from us. And we got to come up with our scene, and that's where they talk about it. It's, it's probably we've got about $32 million that we asked for to try to get in. So we've got to come up with $8 million probably in the next five to 10 years. So we need to try to start building that revenue, pay a loan, or I don't feel like it's a in 10 years. But we can build a loan, money to pay that loan, and pay that depreciation. Uh, I'll tell that the county tried to let them understand that's why we're going to move forward with this. And the county decided that we had never been able to qualify for any kind of grant. It is a very good blessing to get. You're not going to get it locally. You need to program those who need your money will help you with this. Um, and a lot of this is called the regional concept that's helping us get this money. Regional concepts will help get us more money. What we're doing is just not just for us. And these this project, that money was for us, yes, that 32 million, this county, that project would be a little more vastly substantial than that. Because this plant would go and could be done a regional plant, not just for us at this model. But you know, our annual report they were working on. They uh, built a plate, and it got turned down because of this reason. 
They want to go through. They don't want to build another one. They just keep in mind me. They just keep in mind me. They just don't want to get the game. They think they're not afraid of one. They like to be. It's how it is. But, and that's how I put all these folks in the name of order. And that's through the source of their religion. And we all need a little more of this. That's where we get to. And definitely, what we're asking for this year, I give y'all a uh, report of Mrs. Cox that's going to be increases over the next 10 years, at 12% a year. That's what it's going to take to raise that funding for that fund. It's going to take a real being we don't know all the details about this project here, I feel like we do. Whether we get the money or not, you got to go to work. You got to start raising that money. Hopefully, we don't have to build the whole 30, no, the whole 18 million. Because that 32 million was a water plan for us, and we were trying to do all the roads and traffic to the county with the service. That's what we put in for. Say this, this is a uh, project and funding that we may never get out and get again. It's, it's very unique. Had the boys out to look at it, try to get it, and save the people trying to account it long enough. They might not say it was actually a project, but it wasn't what we asked for. We got to go to The draft budget that's proposed tonight is this set, is this presented as the county court receives theirs? I know we've got you a copy of how they proceed under this. Okay. Uh, it's in their format, so they didn't they like to see it that way. So I got this thing and give me that format and I didn't fix it that way. Thank but you. You'll see it is with your copies, the same thing, two copies there. I knew in years past we've had um confuse them by our presentation not being the same as as their format for uh, their budgets yeah, it was fine so one that they got back here what i had done got it fixed today Was on the floor for the budget. What was the floor last year? I talked about it. I missed it. There was, there was anything that was proposed. It's, it's well, actually it's showing us 2%. We asked, or I asked to see 5%. Just so we could compare the two. And then I've also been told to look at 12%. So, well, okay. I think that's why. Well, in order to raise the funds for that meeting, it would take 10 years to 12 percent to raise that money. So you're trying to go up 12 percent every year. Yeah, yeah. That, but you got to realize that's over 120 percent more right now. 
if you do thirty-two million dollars, yeah, you gotta not only pay about a million, I think it's about a million four loan. You also got to come up with eight hundred thousand dollars depreciation money with that. So I mean, it's but no, it's all together one hundred and four million dollars. You know, I give you that two percent for fourteen years. It only come up with eight hundred thousand dollars. You don't raise the rates, but you got to get that two percent growth in there. Growing your customers that was ten years. Who you're not bad those customers every year on that ten year thing. Yeah, that, that's wrong with five percent, but well, percent long been way to buy. I know. I'm saying every know. single year. You you may you may raise the point where you only raise half as much have to borrow it. It's but I just don't want us to get in a situation where you have to borrow it off and raise everybody's rates on that. No, I'm not I'm not disputing what you need to do, I'm just trying to make sure I understand from now to ten years from now, we're raising 120 percent in total. We go up 12 percent this year, then another 12 percent, then another 12 percent. To raise that yeah, I understand what we're doing for. I mean, it's hard to say. It is. I'm just looking at the side of me, but I had a head in shape. Oh, I'm not disputing that. And I, I'm, 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 you know, the DA is going to lose the money to build the plant. It's coming. So it's if you're, you know, we've got to make it manage 75% grant. And this is what we'll do next year, next year. How about that? I think if we've got this county in the shape of thing. We'll do it next year, next year. They fit the can and everything. No, I mean, not can but that represents. And I don't mean the board, I just. Uh, county four. And it's going to be a lot. How much did you all go up last year? What did you do? Well, it was supposed to be a couple of years. Station. Yeah, it was. Well, I'm not saying that this year, but I'm just saying that's what's on tape. But we're going to have to look at it. If that's, and this, this whole thing could have changed, you know, that just, or is this project we're talking about? It'd be really something different than what we are. So you know, they could they could build that plant and just sell water to everybody. That becomes its own entity. And all that depreciation cost and all that goes into that entity, and we just pay for the gut water, you know. Or we we either run it or somebody or the group runs it, or we just a group of counties and get a former district and run that utility and sell the water and they govern that. You know, that's, that's one way, and then there's different ways to do it. But if we got to come up, we just get our grades and grades and see where we need to be. But we're going to have to have some fun to do some stuff. Well, we got a lot of things to do that. We can figure out what to do. But that's going to take the federal counties just getting together and everybody agreeing on something, too. That's going to be not a simple process. So we had decided that we would revisit the increase each year. But what you're telling us is that it will take 12% each year over a span of 10 years. Yeah, at your current to, look at your current rates and just keep just to keep up with the law. That's just the law for one thing, guys. That ain't that ain't everything we do. That is one thing. I mean that's just well, let me ask you this. Um, I personally don't have a lot of faith in some of these grants and stuff that, that I mean we we've been swinging and missing a lot. We get all jacked up, wound up, we're gonna get this and then no. I ain't saying that ain't possible. That's why I say all I'm saying is before I take a foot chewing over twelve percent rate increase every year, I will be pretty sure we're gonna get this. And then I'm not real comfortable. With a twelve percent increase every year, just to service that, I didn't think nothing else in this county. That has to be looked at from year to year. 
That's good. That is not here. Don't leave. You have to be the bear, baby. Oh, it's my job. You may be. No, it's not. You can look at that, but mathematically looking at that, that's what it would take to raise that funding. Yeah, I'm not excusing that at all. I'll just be concerned with those that, that it would only service just that. I mean, if we had anything else to work, then we got to do more. They still tar and feather people. Uh, the good thing about some of the sewer issues we got, the the article from the county guys, that's what I was the data collection. And that data collection we don't have, but that's what you gotta have. Yeah. That'll help us hopefully get more CDBG grants and we can tackle those as we can. I mean, there's not we're not defeated here, but I'm just saying they're doing just one thing too that we have to deal with. Uh -huh. Uh, but I think some of those are funds are that are funds are fix your tank issue. That's all the books. Those get that be fixed. And that's uh, we're getting a few things out of our way that we spoke, we're going to have to focus on sewers one day. But if we get the, the money we can use for the ARPA funds, will help us hopefully get more grant money for those kind of projects. The CDBG will do a lot of times, but I don't think you got the data to show you need. We got to have the data and the technology we're buying to monitor those, and get that data. So I'm going to say, hey, we got a 50% loss on this line. We need a grant to fix it and go after it. So we got the data to prove it. But we're not going to focus. We do have a lot more than just one or two lines. Okay, far from it. Hmm. Well, it's y'all can uh, it's up to y'all, but whether that money does come or not, we're still faced with an even bigger problem coming up with all of it. So if you don't get 75%, you're gonna come up on all of it on loan. I mean, we need to do to keep pushing this concept until it goes in the ground or it comes to fruition. But this is the best thing for the people of this county to help them out. You won't get another, there's nothing like it. I mean, you can't throw it away if you get it. I mean, we got to go after it. You got to keep at it. See if you can't get it. It's the best thing that you're ever going to get here. Uh, where I'm from, you used to get ARC, but when they did it, they gave you 10, 20%. But that was Appalachian Region Grant, and I went for Appalachian here. So you can't fight for that. But it's, it's a pretty good grant. But uh, it's kind of mimics mean, mean, it. It's funny here. Though. And they, you know, they're, I, I don't know, the mayor may have known what this is. Uh, there's possibly some funds through Mr. Rose's office that we're not aware of. We might get a hold of And the more we go through this planning process, we might learn about them. There's a lot of learning, but I think not being proactive and trying to build it with these funds is a good thing to start moving that way. Because you do have that in 25%. And they say you're ready to go. We're going to have to be able to borrow it before we build some of it up. That's, I don't like the idea of waiting to borrow it. But then another discussion. Maybe. But that's all I see. Can we move forward with the budget? I don't think I would pass on. We can do that. Thank you, Sergeant. Without the ingredients. Well, we get something to the front of the gate over there. Is that, is that your motion? Yeah. That's all we need. Have a first and a second on the floor to approve the budget, excluding a rate increase to you. Why is the first? Just nudged. Harper, the second. And if I can get a um, roll call for this, please. Um, all right, all in favor. Um, uh, any opposed? There's nobody that needs to be roll called. Budget is approved. 
minus the right increase at this time. Motion carries. Thank you all. The next order of business is approval to surplus John Deere mowing tractor. It's depreciated out, not you not utilized much. Could we not sell it to another department? Could one of the other departments not use it? I think the county has a way to pay like an appraised value that they can use that and purchase it. I think that's, I think I'm right about that. I just know the county approved the government issue that we can sell that way too. Hey, I don't know. 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 I don't That you sell it, or yeah, if we serve it, we serve it. How you can it. I think that's kind of how we bought that doctor at the time. I got a price for it. That's how we could not buy it because it's worth that money. I think any department able to do that. If not, it's the appraisal. You know, I don't know that some special person who's a good price on what they think it's worth. And we can. I'll take it back. Mayor McCall first. Mr. White has a second. Vice Chair. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries to approve the surplus John Deere mowing tractor. Is there anything that you need to scroll in? No, he doesn't have anything on the agenda. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it.
did not get recorded.